Hi, and welcome back to this Make Music video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start making music with your Launchpad Pro, our most advanced and expressive grid controller. Please ensure that you have your Launchpad Pro connected to your computer via USB and configured with Live, as we demonstrated in the previous video. To get you up and running, we've created packs for you to get started with, which you can download from the links below this video. I'm going to download this one by clicking just here. Once this download is complete, on a Mac, navigate to your Downloads folder and double click on the zipped file to unzip it. On a Windows machine, navigate to your Downloads folder, right click on the zipped folder and select Extract All and tick the Show Extracted Files When Complete box. Then extract the files. Now I'd recommend creating a folder called Launchpad Projects inside your documents. This way you can store the files here and you don't have to worry about losing the Launchpad projects if you clear out your downloads. On a Mac, navigate to Documents and select New Folder. On a Windows machine, navigate to Documents and also create a new folder. Then return to your downloads and we're going to copy and paste the extracted files into the new Launchpad Projects folder, just like so. Next up, open Live. Once that's loaded, click on Add Folder in the browser on the left-hand side of Live and navigate to wherever you just saved the pack and press Open. This is what this will look like on a Mac and this is what this will look like on a PC. you'll now see the folder available to open in the browser on the left-hand side of Live. Click on this and navigate to the .als file and double-click to open the project. This project has now opened up in the session view and you'll see that we have lots of different colored clips on this page. Each of these clips contains either drums, bass, melodies, or some other element of a song. These clips are organized by type into tracks. So for example, on this track, we have drums. On this track, we have bass and so on. On your Launchpad Pro, you're able to take hands-on control of this session view in Live by selecting Session. We're now looking at the session view both on screen in Live and on the Launchpad Pro. If we want to play one of these clips, we can launch them by either clicking the triangle play button on the clip itself or you can press the corresponding pad on the Launchpad Pro to launch the clip. In order to stop a clip from playing, you can launch an empty clip slot on the same track, and the clip that's playing will stop at the end of the next bar. If there are no empty clip slots on the track, then you can select the Stop Clip button at the bottom of the Launchpad Pro, and then press the Stop Clip button on the track. We'll take a closer look at this mixer section later on in the video. You're able to have one clip per track playing at a time. So if you launch a different clip on the same track, the current clip will stop at the end of the next bar and the new clip will then start playing. And this keeps everything in time when you're launching clips. Let's check this out. In the session view, the rows coming across the screen are called scenes, and these allow you to collect a set of clips that you want to play together and launch them with one button press. Scenes can be used to organize the different sections of your track. So for example, in the top scene, you could have all of the clips that are gonna play in the intro of your song. In the second scene, you could have all of the clips that are gonna play in the verse of your song, and so on. 
I can launch all of these clips in one go by pressing the scene launch button here in live or by pressing the scene launch button here on the Launchpad Pro. As we mentioned earlier, in order to stop a clip from playing, we can launch an empty clip slot on that track. By that same logic, if you have an empty scene like this, you can launch this empty scene to stop everything from playing like so. If you don't have an entire empty scene, then you can select the Stop Clip button at the bottom of the Launchpad Pro and select the Stop All Clips button just here. The Launchpad Pro allows you to take hands-on control of Live's mixer. Along the bottom of the Launchpad Pro here, you'll find the buttons that allow you to take control of different sections of Live's mixer. If you press one of the buttons, such as Volume, you see the controls displayed permanently. Whereas if you press and hold the button, you'll see the controls displayed temporarily. And then when you release the button, you'll return to whichever view you were previously in, allowing you to make quick adjustments on the fly. Another great feature of the mixer control on the Launchpad Pro is the velocity sensitive parameter movements. Now this allows us to make smooth parameter changes. So for example, if we want to fade the volume down slowly on these drums, then you can press the pad lightly like so. However, if you want the change to happen a little bit more quickly, then you hit the pads harder and the change will be quicker. You're able to take control of lots of functions in live using the Launchpad Pro, such as the record arms, track selection, mutes, solos, volume, pan, sends, and the stop clip function as we've already explored. Now being able to take hands-on control of such a comprehensive set of parameters opens up a host of creative possibilities when you're using your Launchpad Pro with Live. Using the Launchpad Pro, you're able to take control of drum racks inside Live. Drum racks allow you to load in samples such as drum hits and play them in any pattern that you like. Live comes with a range of great sounding drums, which you can find under the drums folder in the browser section on the left hand side of Live. In this project, we already have an 808 drum kit loaded on track 8, which we'll now make a beat with. Here, you can see 16 drum sounds in a 4x4 grid that we can use to make drum patterns. Now, select the record enable button on that track, ensuring it's red, and then press note on your Launchpad Pro. The 4x4 grid that you see now on your drum rack corresponds to the 4x4 grid on the bottom left section of your Launchpad Pro, which you can now see lit up in yellow. To record a drum pattern, you can double click in an empty clip slot on the drum rack's track to make an empty MIDI clip like so. Then, using the controls at the bottom left of the clip here, you can set the length of the clip to be as long as you like, so I'm going to set mine to be two bars. Next, on your Launchpad Pro, hold down the Shift button and press Quantize. This turns on record quantization, which will help keep your recordings in time. To further assist you playing in time, turn on the metronome by pressing on the click button on the left-hand side of your Launchpad Pro. And finally, let's set a count in. This means that when we hit record, we'll hear two bars of the metronome before we actually start recording so that you can start in time. Click on this drop-down arrow and select two bars. Now we're going to mute the current drum rack like so because we're recording new ones and then we're going to press the session record button up in the control bar. You'll then hear the counting that you selected 
and this clip will be set to record on a loop, allowing you to overdub with each pass so you can record one drum at a time like so. If you want to take the clip out of record mode to explore some more ideas without actually recording them into the clip, then press on the record button in the bottom left of your Launchpad Pro. Then when you have something you want to record into the clip, you can press the record button to start recording again. If you make a mistake, simply press the undo button on the left hand side of your Launchpad Pro to remove that recording. The note mode also lets you play the Launchpad Pro like an instrument in order to create your own melodic ideas. So let's delete this drum track by right clicking and selecting delete. And let's go and find a lead sound. I'm going to come to sounds in the browser section, go to the synth lead category, and I'm going to use fuzzy poly. Let's drag this into some empty space in live just here. And now when we enter the note mode on the Launchpad Pro, you'll see a combination of blue pads, pink pads, and gray or unlit pads. These combine to form a piano keyboard, with the pink notes being the C note where most keyboards start, the blue notes being the white piano keys, and the gray notes being the black piano keys, the sharps and the flats. You can record MIDI patterns from this view in the same way that we recorded patterns using the drum rack, or you can record in a quicker and more open-ended way, by simply pressing the record button in the bottom left of the Launchpad Pro. So make sure that the track is record enabled and then hit the record button. This will start recording into an empty clip slot on the MIDI track that you had selected. So you can jam away whilst recording your ideas. Then you can press the record button again to stop recording. And you can use these loop start and loop end markers to select the section of the loop that you want to use. So you're now able to launch and stop clips in live. You can launch scenes. You can control the mixer. You can play drum racks and instruments and record your beats all using the Launchpad Pro. In the next video, we're gonna point you towards some additional resources to continue learning music production using your Launchpad Pro.